I'm going to use circular motions in blending inward, not down, but like inward onto my cheek in circular motions, so like this. <laughs> What's up, bitch? It's Shelly. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, what's up? I'm Shelly. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Beauty Basics, my video series where I aim to teach you guys who are new to makeup the basics that way you will be able to create your very own masterpieces. In today's video, we are going to be talking about blush, bronzer, contour, and highlight. If you guys want to check out any other video in this series, it is always linked in the description box down below or in a video card up above. Now, of course, before we get into today's video, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload, and it would mean so much to me. So now, with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So in my last Beauty Basics, we talked about our foundations and concealers and how they basically are here to perfect our complexion, to get rid of any discoloration, any redness, any dark spots, red spots, basically anything flawed on your face. Your foundation and your concealer is there to perfect it and get rid of it. However, in doing that, as you guys can see on my face right now, it sucked the living life off your face. Any natural blush to your cheeks, it's gone. Natural grooves and hollows and shadows of your face, it's gone too. It leaves you looking flat. So basically your foundation and concealer leave you looking perfectly lifeless. But that is why today's video is a video. So today we are going to be talking about how to bring the life back into our face using bronzer, blush, contour, and highlight. So right now I just have my foundation and my concealer done. My face is looking really nice, but it's also looking really flat. So the first product I want to talk about is your bronzer because this is going to be the first thing that's going to help bring warmth back into the face as well as adding some dimension to your face. And the next thing I want to talk about are your application tools for applying your bronzer. If you look at this brush here, it's really nice and big and fluffy as you move it back and forth. You can see it's got a nice fluff to it. Now looking at this brush, you can see that it is also kind of big, but it's a bit more stiff in the bristles, so this means that it's more dense. When it comes to brushes, brushes that are more dense are going to give you a more intense pigmentation, whereas a fluffier brush like this is going to apply your product a lot more sheer and a lot more airy. Now one thing I want you guys to remember throughout this entire Beauty Basics series is that makeup isn't math, it's art. So if you guys prefer one thing over something I say, feel free to do that because it's all about your own personal exploration and things that you like yourself. Personally, when applying bronzers, I like to use the denser brush because I like to start my shaping process from the very beginning, but some people like to apply a more sheer look and so they go for the fluffy brush and that's totally okay. Now the last thing I want to talk about is your application zone. Now this part is very important, so if you're going to take anything from this video, take away this bit of information, but basically I want you guys to examine your face. Really get a good look at your shape in your face. Are your cheekbones high set? Do you have have really big apples? Do you tend to fall flat? Where are the natural grooves in your face? One thing you can do is kind of look around and see where the light catches on your cheekbone and also where your shadows fall. Knowing this information about your own face is going to be very beneficial when applying your bronzer, contour, and highlight because it's going to allow you to know where to apply your product properly and it's also going to help you know how to blend it out and shape it correctly to your face. So definitely remember that. Spend some time looking at yourself in the mirror and just get a really good know of what your face looks like because what somebody does isn't going to necessarily be the exact same thing that you do. Alright, so now that you guys have checked out your own face and you're very familiar with it, let's move on. So ever since the beginning of time, I've always heard of this concept called the three zone. And this is where they say to apply your bronzer and contour. So basically that would be under the hollow of your cheek, up around your temple and your hairline, and then back down around your jawline. It's called the three zone because it looks like the number three, but it's said to apply your bronzer here because this is also where the natural shadows on your face fall. So since this is naturally where the shadows on your face fall, it only makes sense to add your darker bronzers into those areas to help enhance your natural dimension anyway. So I am going to take my round top kabuki brush and my bronzer, and I am just going to dip it in like 
this. So this is how much product I have on my brush. Now one thing I like to recommend to everyone is make sure to use a light handed stroke because when you press your product too hard into the skin, it's gonna make blending very difficult. So everything I do when it comes to blending out eyeshadows or face products, I always use a light handed um, application technique. Now I always begin by applying my bronzer to the hollows of my cheek. And again, I'm using a really light-handed stroke, and you can even do circular motions if you want to get a nice blended, airbrushed look. Wow, I'm really messing up my hair for this. So as you guys can see, I've applied bronzer to the outside half of my hollow and then up around my hairline. Now the last thing I want to do before moving on to my jawline is take whatever is left on this brush and just kind of blend out a little bit to kind of wrap around my natural cheekbone. So I finished the top part of my three and I'm going to go ahead and move into my jawline. I personally don't add too much of a contour here, but I do like to also blend it down my neck. That way it's again nice and blended and not masky. I've only done one side of my face, which is this, and now let's go ahead and check out my flat side. All right, so this is the result of just bronzing my face. Personally for me, on a day-to-day -day basis, this is as much contour as I care to use, but I am gonna show you guys how to get a deeper contour in a second. All right, so I think I'm good with my bronzer. We can go ahead and move into our blush, and my hair really got fucked up in that process. So when applying blush, I like to apply it right above my bronzer onto my cheekbone here. Now a while ago there used to be this concept where they would say apply your blush directly to the apples of your cheek and you would find the apples of your cheek by smiling. So this right here is the apples of my cheeks. The problem with this is it doesn't work for everybody's face. For somebody like me, because I have pretty high set cheekbones, this actually would work. But if you're somebody who has a flatter face, your apples might fall somewhere right here. So applying blush to the apples of your cheeks when they're low could actually make you look a little drooped and it will age you. Personally, I don't like to apply blush to the apples of my cheek because I feel like it makes me look very cheeky. So I like to to keep it right here on the top of my cheekbone but if you are somebody with higher set cheekbones and you think wearing the cheeky look is cute then by all means go for it and if you are somebody who has a flatter face I do recommend putting it here on your cheekbones because it's going to give it a little bit more of a lift so I've always been a fan of using a nice fluffy blush brush when applying my blush to my cheeks just because I want to make sure that I'm not going to end up looking like Mrs. Claus and using this will help give you a nice sheer airy look. If you guys are still building your makeup kit, I highly recommend checking out this BH Cosmetic 10 color blush palette. As you guys can see, there are so many different options in here. You've got darks, you've got lights, you've got warms, you've got cools. It's just a really nice option to have and it lasts a very long time. It's also very affordable, so I highly recommend checking this out. Yes, I did break mine. So the technique that I use when I apply my blush to my cheekbone is I just use a flicking motion. Once again, light-handed strokes, nice flicking motion. That way it looks very natural and like my own natural flush. I like to build up sheer layers rather than get stuck with something that's too pigmented and it's hard to fix. All right, so as you guys can see, there's a nice little flush to my cheek. This is the side that hasn't been done yet. And if you want, you can continue to build this up until you look like Mrs. Claus herself, but I personally like that nice natural flush, so I don't like to do too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. So I am bronzed. I have my natural flush back to my cheeks. It's not too heavy for me, but if you guys like a heavier pigment, go ahead and do two more, three more, however many layers you feel like. 
This technique with the flicking and the light handed strokes really helps you be able to build things up. Because if you start with a really dense brush and a really hard handed press, it's going to be very honestly it's gonna actually look like mrs. Claus it's gonna be a circle and it's gonna be very much harder to blend out so fluffy brush light-handed flicking strokes makes it so much easier to build up color no matter what product really you're using so let's go ahead and move into contouring contour is essentially just shaping and intensely defining the shape of your face. As I mentioned earlier in the beginning of this video, when your brush is a bit more dense or if it's more direct and small, it's going to have a bigger pigment payout. When contouring, I like to use a brush like this. As you guys can see, it's nice and small. It's a nice direct brush and it is also pretty dense. So the pigmentation payout of this is going to be a lot more intense than this. So, Using the same exact product, I'm gonna show you guys how you can bronze and contour your face using this. So as you guys can see, right here is the deepest part of my hollow, and that's where I'm gonna first apply my contour. So I'm gonna dip my brush into my bronzer that I used earlier. Now if you guys do have a darker, more intense, or cool tone bronzer or contour powder, then feel free to use that. I'm just showing you that you can use the same product. Stamp, 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 and I'm gonna blend it upwards towards the top of my ear, like that. And then I'm going to use circular motions and blending inward, not down, but like inward onto my cheek in circular motions, so like this. And I'm actually not using that hard of a hand, like you might think. I'm actually using a pretty light stroke because I didn't press the product into my cheek too hard. And then you can also do this and bring it up into the hairline. I like circular motions because I feel like it blends it in a more airbrushed look. All right, so I am now done contouring both sides of my face and I'm going to move on into my highlight. Highlight is where your face naturally catches the light. So it's the high points of your face. And as I move my face around on screen right now, we can kind of see that it's like brighter and lighter right here on my cheekbone. So that is where the light naturally hits my face and catches and just kind of bounce off. So it's going to naturally be lighter. Basically your highlight, is there to kind of reflect that spot and make you look blinding and beautiful. So typically highlight is applied to the top part of people's cheekbones. You've probably seen people apply it to their nose and their bridge as well as their cupid's bow, maybe their chin, under their brow. For me personally, I don't like to apply it to the tip of my nose and I'll explain why. So as I turn my head to the side, you guys can see that the tip of my nose is already turned up. By adding a highlight to the tip of my nose, it actually creates this illusion that it lifts the tip. And I already have a really lifted tip, so I don't need any more lifting. When you apply a highlight to the bridge of your nose right here, it actually creates a more lifted, skinnier bridge, so it looks like you have a more contoured nose. So I definitely like to add some highlight to the bridge of my nose to kind of lift it a little bit more and then also to my cheekbones. And I love applying a highlight to the Cupid's bow because this really gives your lips a more luscious, plump look and it's so pretty. So those are my key spots to applying highlight. Oh, also underneath the brow bone, it's really gonna just give it a nice pop. 
A highlighter palette that I really like is actually the Sephora Collection Highlighter Palette because we've got all kinds of shades and the way that this product blends out is so, so pretty and it's really easy to use and it doesn't make you look cakey and it doesn't bring out texture. I also like using that with the Sephora Pro highlighting brush and I'm going to just apply that where the light naturally catches blending it down into my blush color. Basically, I'm just trying to get this entire section to be nice and beautifully blended together so you can't really see where one transitions into the other. Okay, then I'm gonna add just a little bit to the Cupid's bow just to kind of add a nice little bit of hydration. And then, that might look crazy right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put lip gloss on to just blend it out on my upper lip. Wow. <laughs> Shit. And then when applying highlight to the bridge of your nose, using something like this might actually be a little bit too big and it's not gonna give you that slimming contoured look. So if you were to use something small like a defining brush, this is really gonna help target and be more defined with the area that you're applying the contour to or the highlight to. So I'm just going to do this and I'm just gonna put it down the center of my bridge like so, and it's really gonna give that slimming illusion. I'm just gonna kinda dust off my actual highlight brush to make sure that there's not really anything on it, and then I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Like so. All right guys, so that is it for our blush, bronzer, contour, and highlight. That is it for today's video. If you guys wanna check out any other video in this series, it is always linked in the description box down below, as well as in a card up above. All the products I've used and products I recommend are also linked in the description box down below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you have any other questions or requests for Beauty Basics, please, please, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys haven't done so already, don't don't forget to click subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload these videos. Whew. Wow. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And of course, just like always, until next time, bye bitch.